Jesus shall reign well the sun. Hello, beloved friend. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. You are welcome once again to the Voice of Hope broadcast with your servant, Pastor Isaac Apo. Today, our devotion is entitled, Where is God, my Maker? Shall we pray? Divine Father, I want to thank you once again for giving us this day. We bless your name so much for all the good things that you've done and you keep doing in our lives. So in a very special way, as you open your words to hear the wonderful truths that you have for us, we ask the Lord to fill each and every one of us with your Holy Spirit, enable us to understand your words and not just to understand them, but to live our lives according to your words. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. The Bible in Job chapter 35 verse 10 says that, But none say it, Where is God, my Maker, who giveth songs in the night? Dear beloved friend, Sometimes the unexpected things can happen in life, and all hell breaks loose. One day life is full of joy, peaceful, your job is well secured, your children behave well, your family is outstanding. Then out of the blue, like a violent angry storm, tragedy strikes, there is misery and sadness all over. During such a time, we need love and not nature. During such times, we need sympathy and not a sermon. During such times, we need comfort and not criticism. During such times, we need to know that our Christian brothers and sisters really care and God cares for us as well. Beloved friend, is there something troubling you today? Are you having sleepless nights over family problems? Are you worried about some losses in your family? In such difficult moments, we ask the question, where is God? Where is my maker? Where is my deliverer? Beloved friend, today I want to share with you four things that you must do in such difficult moments in life. Number one, focus on the goodness of God. Beloved friend, ask yourself this question. How has the Lord dealt with people who had similar problems like yours? Comfort yourselves in the goodness of God. Always focus on what God can do for you. We often say that God is good, they will respond all the time. You see, in difficult times, you must understand that God is still good, because all things would work out for your good. Number two, focus on the presence of the Comforter, not the presence of men. Matthew chapter 28 verse 20, Jesus Christ says, And surely I am with you always to the very end of time. You see, Jesus Christ promised to be with us all the time, even though he was leaving the earth physically, because he had already made a promise in John chapter 15 verse 26, that when the Comforter is come, who I will send unto you from the Father, even the Spirit of Truth. The Spirit of God is the Comforter. Always focus on the presence of the Spirit of God, because once the Spirit of God is with you, Jesus Christ is with you. And if Jesus is with you, you have no problem, you have nothing to worry about. Number three, focus on the promises of God. The Bible in Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10 says that, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, I will help you, I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. God has promised to give you a divine guidance. Psalm 37 verse 23 to 24, the Bible says, the steps of a man are established by the Lord. When he delights in his way, though he fell, he shall not be cast headlong, for the Lord approves his hand. God has promised a divine mercy, beloved friend. Psalm 32 verse 10 says that many are the souls of the wicked, but the steadfast love surrounds the one who trusts in the Lord. Beloved friend, focus on the promises of God. He has promised to give you the ministry of the angels in heaven. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 14 says that Are there not all ministering spirits sent out to serve for the sake of those who are to inherit salvation? Beloved friend, our God has promised and he will never fail. Hebrews chapter 13 verse 5 says that I will never leave you nor forsake you. So in difficult moments, focus on his promises. And finally, Focus on the end of it all. 
You see, the end of the journey of a Christian is going to be an eternal joy with Jesus Christ. The end of it all will be a restoration of all losses. Pain will give way to joy and happiness. Shame will become an honor. And all of those who made your life miserable will be nothing when the end comes. Beloved friend, do you feel as if no one understands you today? Take heart, your maker will come near to you and give you a song of hope. Faith can change any situation no matter how dark or difficult it is. Have faith in God and you turn around your situation. Become a prisoner of hope because hope is the parent of faith. Life with Jesus Christ is an endless hope. Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 7 says, Blessed is the man that trusted in the Lord and whose hope is the Lord. He will be like a tree planted by the riverside. May God bless you. May He grant you the faith that you need that in difficult moments of life, you will always focus on His goodness, focus on the presence of the Comforter, focus on the promises that He has made to you, and finally, focus on the end, the wonderful things that He has prepared for you. May God bless you, in Jesus' name, Amen. Father, I want to thank you in a very special way. We thank you that you are God who has promised to be with us, even in the most difficult moments of our lives. We ask the Lord you fill us with the Holy Spirit so that no matter what happens in our lives, we will never give up. And just as Job endured to the end, grant us the faith to be able to endure to the end. In Jesus Christ, name we pray. Amen. Be a life changer. Millions of daily audio devotionals and Bible studies just like what you just listened to are delivered to believers around the globe to strengthen their daily walk and deepen their relationship with Jesus Christ. Please consider participating in this kingdom work through a gift of any amount to help sustain the work of Voice of Hope Media. Call or WhatsApp us on 0233-243-851636 to donate. God bless you. Hello, lovely friends. Welcome once again to the Voice of Hope broadcast with your servant, Pastor Isaac Appel. I believe that you are doing well by the grace of God. God has a special message for you today and it's entitled, Two Kingdoms, Where Do You Belong? In Daniel chapter 2, King Nebuchadnezzar had a strange dream of a statue with different mineral compositions. Daniel the prophet later explained the meaning of the dream to be four great kingdoms that were going to appear in the world. The prophet Daniel in Daniel chapter 2 verse 31 to 45 says that the head of the statue which was made of gold represented the kingdom of Babylon. The chest of silver represented the kingdom of the Medes and the Persians and the ties of bronze represented the kingdom of Greece. And finally the legs of iron according to the prophet Daniel represented the ancient Roman Empire. These were the four great worldly kingdoms that was dominated by the devil. Beloved friend, I want you to understand today that the kingdoms of this world belong to the devil. They are characterized by sexual immoralities, idol worship, sickness, violence, abuse, etc. Life in the kingdom of Satan is a life of disgrace. If you belong to the kingdom of Satan, Satan would only lead you to disgrace and eventually to your death. Because the Bible makes us to understand in John chapter 10 verse 10 that the devil comes not but to steal, destroy and to kill. He will only make things appear beautiful for now but eventually will destroy you and take away your God-given destiny. The question I want you to ponder over is which kingdom do you belong to in this world? There are two kingdoms. The first kingdom is the kingdom that is ruled and dominated by Satan. But in Daniel chapter 2 verse 34, the prophet Daniel saw another powerful kingdom emerging. He says, as he looked, a stone was cut out by no human hand, and it struck the image on its feet of iron and clay, and broke them in pieces. Beloved friend, this stone, the stone that was not cut with the hands of human beings, 
represents the everlasting kingdom of God. Soon God will set up a kingdom that will never be destroyed. The kingdom of God is the kingdom of grace and it begins when we accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. When you allow Christ into your heart, He fills you with the kingdom of grace and makes your life His sanctuary. You walk in righteousness and experience the joy of the salvation. But that is not all. When the trumpet sound and the saints are called up yonder, all those who are filled on earth with the kingdom of grace will be called to be the kingdom of glory in heaven with Jesus Christ forever. The new kingdom where there will no more be death, pain or tear. Jesus Christ says he will wipe away all our tears. The question I want you to ponder over this day is, which kingdom do you belong? Are you in the kingdom of grace or in the kingdom of disgrace? If the trumpet sounds right now, beloved friend, where would you be? Today is a fine opportunity to accept Jesus Christ and begin a closer walk with Him. Even if you have already accepted Him, today is a fine opportunity to get close to Him and to live your life according to that saith the Lord. No more double standard, no more living as a Christian at the same time fulfilling the desires of the flesh, no more living a life of a hypocrite, but it's time for you to totally surrender your life to Jesus because there will not be a second opportunity when Jesus comes. The time to get serious about your salvation is now. Now is the time to wash your garment in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ says, I stand at the door of your heart and knock. If anyone hears my voice and lets me in, he says I will come in and eat with him and he with me. Would you allow him in your heart today? Would you let Jesus Christ come in you right now and fill you with a kingdom of grace? If so, why don't you pray with me? Divine Father, we thank you so much for this special opportunity to renew our commitment with you. We thank you for this wonderful opportunity to have you in our hearts. So in a special way, Lord, I want to commit all my listening friends, those who at this moment have decided to let you in their heart, those who at this moment have decided to have the kingdom of grace in them. Please, Lord, wherever they are in this world, stretch forth your hand upon them, wash away all their sins, and fill them with the Holy Spirit that from this day onward they will live a life that will glorify your name, that from this day onward they will shun the world and all it desires and give themselves totally to you, so that one day soon, when the trumpet sounds and the saints are called up yonder, they will be among the saints who walk with you on the street of gold. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Be a life changer. Millions of daily audio devotionals and Bible studies just like what you just listened to are delivered to believers around the globe to strengthen their daily walk and deepen their relationship with Jesus Christ. Please consider participating in this kingdom work through a gift of any amount to help sustain the work of Voice of Hope Media. Call or WhatsApp us on 00233-243-851636 to donate. God bless you.